Hi there, and welcome to a new episode of Timber and Stone, and it's a new series, and it is easy mode series. I have downloaded a mod uh, which has disabled monsters because I am of the opinion that the game is far too hard, and I'm a wimp like that. And I, yes, I'm, I'm too scared of the monsters, and but I want to enjoy this game for the building. I want to, I want to do some building, and I want to build up a lovely base, and you know. Do something. Do something good. Build some. Build a nice big castle. And that's just something I'm, I'm not able to do with uh, with that amount of monsters and them being that strong. So I decided to mod the uh, mod the game, create a um, well, yeah, mod the game so there's no monsters and start a new game. And it's just going to be building. So I'm not going to need any infantry. Hopefully, uh, not going to need any archers. Nothing like that. But I will be. Um, aiming towards that and eventually once I do have some sort of nice big castle I should be able to um, defend it, you know, turn off the new monsters mod and have some sort of attack going so I've been searching around this little map here and I've found somewhere where there's frequent, frequent, abundant and common in terms of my minerals, occasional abundant, common and abundant in terms of my wildlife and some dense trees, so I'm going to have lots of trees and just just lots of minerals and stuff. So yes, definitely easy mode. And uh, let's hit confirm there because it takes a second to load. Um, definitely easy mode. So if you're not interested in um, seeing this easy mode of the game, then I apologise for that. But yes, um, so yeah, I have a river over here. Let's zoom out and have a little look around. Uh, do I have anything off to the right? Doesn't look like it. So I want to start a settlement fairly close to this river. Um, well, it's, it's quite hilly actually, close to that river. So maybe down here where there's not that many hills. We'll start a settlement around here. Settle here and let's go for there, shall we? Start game. Fantastic. Okay, so as it loads, loads up the music will think that, wow, that is a lot of trees. We'll have to get rid of some of these tree stumps and, and do something about that. So, what have we got then? Let's set you, Sutton, you are a wood chopper and I want you to um, independently chop nearby trees. Go! And you are a forager, so I definitely want some foraging from you. Um, and preferences, let's say, gather berries, hunt chicken, hunt boar, hunt sheep, just do everything, everything. And you're all, you've already found some berries. Fantastic. Uh, you were, we won't need you to be infantry. Stones mason. We've got a blacksmith. We've got a miner, and we have. What are you? Are you another miner? No, you're a builder. Right. So our infantry person. Let's actually change your profession here and make you into a fisherman. And I doubt we'll actually have any fishing rods. So. Do we? He's gone to the... Did, did you pick up a fishing rod? What's in your inventory? No, you didn't. You just went and dropped off all of your armour. Okay, so, first things first, let's get mining. So let's do a design, let's dig a mine out, and let's go for all of this area, and all of this area. And then we could do with just flattening a load of land, really, couldn't we? We have this on a little hill, but then let's get rid of all of this and all of this over here. And then from here, let's turn around. Let's get rid of all of this over here and everything over here as well. That should give us plenty of space then. And um, we'll also get rid of some of these trees as well once we've done it. So that's our mine. Farmland. Let's go down onto the other down onto the area below for the farmland. So let's go here. Create a little patch of say 16. Uh, for potato, we've got pumpkins. So let's go and create another little patch of 16 for pumpkins. Uh, turnips. And who doesn't love turnips? I know I do. <clears throat> yes, so much so. Um, where's the best place to put turnips? 
Let's put them over here. Turnips! And what else have we got? That's it at the moment. So we need some farmers. We also need to check out our storage capacity. We're nearly full of wood already, so that's good. Um, blacksmith, stones mason, and builder. And also a trader. So, trader, you my friend, have earned yourself a new profession. Actually, if I make you the fisherman, because you're already level 3 in it, are you any good at farming? No, you're not. Okay, a blacksmith, carpenter, engineer. Could make you a carpenter or a herder, actually. Probably be good if I made you a herder and then. No, there's nothing to herd at the moment, anyway, is there? Let's make you a carpenter because we'll probably need to build something quite soonish. And with these guys, let's check out your professions. Are you able to. No, you're not very good at farming. Is anyone any good at farming? You're a good farmer. There you go. Fantastic. We found a farmer. We could do it too, really. So, are you any good at farming? Uh, you're not. Okay. Well, we'll make you a farmer anyway. Just because. And that should get our food supplies up. Right. Now, next things next. Next things first. First things next. We need some storage. We need mining stockpiles and we need wood piles. So let's go for a wood pile and let's just place this uh, just down here, yeah. Let's place this just down here for the starters. And in terms of mining pile, let's place our mining stockpile here. Why the hell not? And that should give us plenty of plenty of opportunity to get some more wood on the go. Some of these tree stumps we'll also have to get rid of pretty soon as well. And you, what are you missing then? What do you have in your inventory that he doesn't? A stone hoe! So we need a new hoe. So our stones mason needs some sort of facility to actually get going. So what we need are some workshops. We need Masonry bench, we need stone forge, we need carpentry bench, we need everything really. Um, so, where are we going to set that stuff up then? We've still got too many trees around. Uh, I kind of want to set it up here, but that's uh, it's still being mined out at the moment. So, let's set it up just down here. No, that's going to be where the farmland is. So, let's set it up. If I didn't demolish all of that stuff. Uh, alt? No, shift alt. There we go, shift and alt. I knew it was one of those combinations. Shift and alt. All of you. Shift and alt, you. Okay, so we'll do that. We do want to get rid of some of this stuff anyway. Let's get rid of that, that much there. And we'll set up some area here. Storage space for dirt. Build more mining piles. Well, there's a mining pile there, but obviously you don't want to build it just yet. Um, so let's go for workshops. Masonry bench. And let's build a couple of masonry benches. Just like that. A couple of stone forges. Um, maybe backing onto the masonry benches. Looking good. And um, we'll also get a carpentry bench as well. Maybe even two. Should we go for two carpentry benches? I don't see any reason why we shouldn't. Beautiful. We've got our workshop area all set now. Um, why is that stone part not being built then? Is that because we need a builder? Do you need to be a builder? How about if I make you a builder then? Builder, 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 builder. Builder. You going to make stuff now? I don't see you making anything. Why don't you do that? Hmm, you don't seem to want to. So, what is the problem? What is the problem? Structures. Why do? Why are you not building things? 
Am I missing something? Have I got too many of something? I've not got any raw stone and I believe you need some raw stone for for that. So let's see if we can get some raw stone on the go. Are you digging raw stone at the moment or are you digging I can't tell. Yes, you are digging raw stone, good. Okay. So hopefully he will dig some more raw stone and be able to build or create that mining pile there, mining stockpile. Is there a way I can see how much that costs me, the mining stockpile? Building? No. It won't tell me, will it? There's nowhere that'll tell me that you need stone for a mining stockpile. We've run out of space for raw stone. Build more mining piles. Well, there's a mining pile there. Why don't you build it? Why don't you build it? So, let's go to structures, storage, mining stockpile. Need eight raw stone. So how much raw stone do you have in your inventory? You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven. So can you, if I increase your encumbrance limit a little bit, and then send you off over there. Hopefully you'll be able to dig one more piece of stone and then build a stockpile. Hopefully. Because if I s hover over the uh, workshops as well, the masonry, no, the stone forges, we need eight raw stone per stone forge too. Um, so you'll have eight stone in just a second. Let's change your encumbrance limit again. Bring that back down to 10. So they get slower as they're more over encumbered. And you, for now, you should be a miner as well. Right, are you going to build that stockpile now? You have all the raw stone in your inventory. You should use it. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, maybe we need to approach this from a different, um, a different angle. You need additional storage for dirt. Consider constructing a mining stockpile. Yep. You need additional storage for raw stone. Consider. Yep. And yep. So, why don't you build a mining stockpile then? You have in your inventory, let me just double check this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you've got like 10 raw stone there. So why don't you go and build yourself a mining stockpile? Do, I, do you need to be a builder for this? Mining stockpile. Miner will build a mining stockpile. But obviously you won't. Okay, that's fine. Let's figure out another way to do this. Let's do this from another angle. Let's design a little building with dirt. And we will build a little dirt wall over here when we stop lagging. Come on. Less lag, please. There we go. So we'll build a little dirt wall over there and a little dirt wall over there. Okay, so then we need to make a miner out of, a builder out of one of you two. So who's the better builder? Not you. Uh, what about you? You're not a good builder either. Sure I had a good builder. Okay, let's just go for you for now. Become a builder. What were you before? Were you... Did I click on the right person? You're a carpenter. Well, we're building with dirt, so... Once you've finished building that dirt wall, we should be in a good place. We'll be able to put away the stone, and then pick up the stone again. Let's, uh, let's get some raw stone tracking on the go. Some dirt tracking, some wood logs tracking, definitely some food tracking. Uh, what else could we do with tracking? Nothing there from the raw material side of things. 
We'll keep it as that for now. And we will soon be able to build... Come on. What are you doing? What do you have in your inventory? Oh, you can't do anything because you need to put stone away. Ah, that's awkward. Okay. So you are a builder, but you can't put the stone anywhere. So if I were to make you... I wonder if I can make you a miner if you'll actually go and build that now. No, you still need to put things away. So, in terms of your inventory then, let's make you a little bit over encumbered. And then move you there. We'll go and pick up some dirt, I believe. Or not. Do I need to make you really over encumbered? I can't just make you drop things, can I? Well, this is awkward. Uh, what else can I do with you? I'm going to make you a builder. Come on. Let's make you a builder for now. You're a level 3 builder anyway. So, go and build that wall for me. And you, let's make you a miner again because obviously there's only one stone hammer between us. Where's the miner button? There it is. Oh, I don't want to over encumber you that much though. Let's get back, that back down to 10. Oh, he's just picked up a load of the, the wood. Uh, the load of the dirt. You guys gonna build that stockpile then? <laughs> oh dear. Right, so now we have still have no stone. Are you guys ever going to put that stone back? You, your stone's disappeared. Where's all your stone gone? Did the builder take all the stone? No, he's just got dirt in his inventory. Where have you guys put all the stone? Have you just lost the stone? You have, haven't you? You've lost all that beautiful, beautiful raw stone. Was I tracking the right thing? I was tracking the right thing. We've still got zero raw stone. This is a very odd bug. Maybe they will, uh, if I speed this up a little bit and watch them get more and more stone. So we've got three raw stones so far there. We've got a fair amount of raw stone there. Right, delivered five raw stone now. Okay, great. And once you deliver that raw stone, we should have enough to build this thing here. So whenever you're ready, whenever you're not completely over encumbered. My farm is working away quite well there. That's nice. Still getting a fair amount of wood as well. No issues with the wood stockpile. So, right, that's turned blue now, so we can actually build that. We have. Wait a minute, it's turned blue because. I have no idea why it's turned blue. Oh, I know why it's turned blue. It's turned blue because the resources are. There we go. There. The, the resources are reserved for that item because the resources got reserved for these two items first that's why they're both blue right now let us remove that tree stump and let's remove this tree stump and let's remove this tree stump Ooh. remove this tree stump remove some of these tree stumps around our around our base so we can actually build a little bit more of a little bit more of a base even if it is out of dirt for now. Um, design, let's build out of dirt a little wall here, a little bit more of a wall there, and let's also dig this little wall here, like that, beautiful. And those are no longer needed to be read. Fantastic. Okay. So, we will soon need 
to start building some more tools. We need a fishing rod. So we need fishing rod. Fishing rod, fishing rod, fishing rod. Um, so we need a fishing pole. So that needs some rope, which we don't have at the moment. So how do I get rope then? What's a good way to get some rope? Um, crafting. Rope. So we need some animal hair. Okay. So we don't have animal hair either. Um, <laughs> so we're not going to be able to get that much rope at all. So let's uh, let's concentrate on. Uh, we need some stone hoes, don't we? So let's add five of those to the queue. We'll need some more stone pickaxes. So let's add some five of those to the queue. Um, we're going to need maybe some more stone axes in general. Five of those. Uh, could do with a hunting knife or two. Let's get some of them. And Shepherd's Crook, let's get a couple of those as well. Matthew is now a level 6 forager, that's good. Um, in terms of the rest of this stuff, at the moment we don't need that much. We'll, we'll be needing some bricks soon, I think. Build an actual wall. But right now, we're doing quite well without any of this stuff. Ooh, we got 8 wheat. I didn't even realise that. Where did the 8 wheat come from? Uh, right, let's remove some of these stumps. Remove, remove. So we'll be using this area for farmland, so we want to get rid of the close stumps. We'll leave that one there, because that's kind of just outside the perimeter. Same with these ones over here. And what the hell? Why are you in the ground? Okay. Uh, what can you do? Why don't you become a... Yeah, there's no point in you just sitting around doing nothing, so why don't you become a... Why don't you become a miner as well? And you can become a farmer. And now we have two hoes, two farmers, three miners. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Right, farmland. Now, I saw wheat. Oh, we have wheat, not wheat seed. Oh, yes. Okay. That'll be why. Okay, that's no worries. Uh, we will need some roads and a haul and stuff like that as well. So, we should probably start thinking about doing some sort of haul over here. Maybe even up here. Um, what else can I dig out? So, we're digging up to there. Probably do we're digging that stuff out as well. And we'll create a little bit of a wall there. Um, yeah, let's do that. And let's build a little dirt wall across there. And across there as well. Yeah. We're not a storage space for the Shepherd's Cook. Oh, we could do with a tool chest. So let's go and build that as we auto save or something. Let's build a tool chest. And where should we put the tool chest? Put it down here behind everything, but by the in the corner by the wall over there. Uh, we could do with an armor chest, maybe. No, we won't need one of them. Resource crate, though. Yeah, we can do with a resource crate. Let's shove that over there. Uh, at the moment, we don't need a hay, a food barrel or a hay bale. Although food barrel, we do have one copper ingot, so it may be worth creating a food barrel. How much food do we have at the moment? Twelve out of twenty. We've got forty-eight food. Hmm. I'm tempted to get a food barrel. Yeah, I think I will. I'll get a food barrel. Let's put that there as well. Let's get another wood pile on the go. There. Uh, maybe a builder's cart. Maybe another mining stockpile. Over here somewhere. Why not? And that should keep us going for a fair while. Um, and you, our carpenter, Mr. Carpenter, if you become a builder again, then we can start building up these walls. I say walls, they are just dirt mounds at the moment, but uh, it's better than nothing. Um, so what we could do actually is... Shift and Alt, that stuff. 
we don't need to do that and we'll build with dirt it'll go there like that fantastic and we'll probably build a little bit more this way and then start Oop. yeah go on then just because I misclicked looking good looking good let's remove that stump and move that stump we don't want stumps too close to our uh, too close to our base or in our base that'll be in our base so will that so will that that won't be it'll be just outside so that yeah I can I can live with it being there okay cool yeah doing pretty well doing pretty well so our farmers are actually both asleep at the same time which is a bad thing so I'm going to get your settings and let's schedule your sleep and we're going to have one two three four early morning and you are also going to have scheduled sleep um, and you're going to be so midnight late night dawn early morning then we're going to morning and then we're going to one two three four so they're going to overlap by a couple of hours each but uh, yeah they'll both be awake for a couple of hours each but they will have a shift pattern I think that'll be good so we can always have someone farming something we've built this wall out here now as well so let's starting to get dark as well so we'll think about um, bringing this episode to a close soon but let's just build this wall up to the end here and I'm not going to bring it in just yet I want to bring it out a little bit more maybe to there-ish that looks good Let's build a nice big long wall over there. And a bit of a wall there. And we want to alt shift. Oh no we don't. We want to go to go back to dig. Alt shift those guys. We want to dig out this whole area here. And then go back into our Buildings, dirt. We'll get a dirt block there. Dirt blocks across there. And let's go and fill that in as well with dirt. Yeah! That's pretty good. Uh, it's getting dark now. I can barely see what I'm doing. So I'll bring this episode to a close. Um, and next episode we'll maybe start building some bricks around this place instead of just some just some dirt piles but uh, until then I'll say thank you very much for watching bye bye now